Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Perpetual Testing. Today's test chamber of choice is a slightly odd looking one to start with. Uh, doesn't actually appear to have any signage, but it is Two Rivers by RFT50. And it appears to feature a faith plate, an ominous door closing behind me as always, a button on the ceiling. We've got a conveyance beam, a tube and a button over there. We've got a faith plate. Uh, what does... there's also this one of those green fields which I can't remember what they do. They either do or do not turn off your portals I seem to remember. I think they don't turn off your portals. Green means go, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's do this then. Let's put that there and that there and press this button with my head. I cannot press this button with my head so that doesn't work. Uh, so the only other thing I can do is try the faith plate. It'll chuck me up here and I can hit you, you give me a cube, right? Yes, yeah, so if I chuck this down in there, it should carry on through and go and press that button. Go and press the button for me. This comes on and the other side of the room has just changed. Wait, what the fuck? The other side of the room just changed. Wait, hold on, so if I... How the fuck does that work? This room... changes. That's really weird, I've never seen a chamber that changes. This room, like, transmogrifies, that's not a word. This room transforms, watch. The room is about to change. That's a completely different test chamber over there. So where does this take me now? This still apparently takes me to the ceiling in the room I was in. So if I take you off here, it changes back. So, hold on, put this back up here. The room goes like that. And I can go through that, yeah. Got a door here that needs a cube on it as well. I can... Oh, I might actually be able to jump that. I know it's not right, but it's worth a try. Really? No, okay, you can't jump that. Okay, good to know. Alright, so this room changes shape. Somehow. I've still got a blue and an orange like that. So what's through here now? Is this the one that lets me go through? This is what I was looking at a moment ago, because... Because that's the button that I pressed up there. Then grab you and we can go back this way with you. Why did that get destroyed? What destroyed that cube? Is that cube just to taunt you or something? Okay, so... I'm really confused now because this chamber changes shape. And somehow that brings me through there. I still got my first cube up there. So, like that. It's still coming through from that one. So, this chamber has a thing on the ceiling. If there's a blue there and I put orange here, I get pushed back into here. Does it push me all the way through to this one? But then if orange went there, I go back. Okay. And that's the room with the exit? This is the room with a weird panel in the ceiling and the exit, so that can't be the room with the exit. Put that there. I want to get back up there, I think, but with the cube, so... How on earth does this chamber work? And more importantly, how the hell do you go about programming something like this? This makes no sense at all. So... This is where I came in. That's the faith plate. I can take you back across here with me like that. Then... If I put blue on you... What's the other side of that now? The other side of this now is... The room with the thing. 
So if blue was up there, there's me down there. There's the exit, so I have to get the cube across. That's deadly goo down there, isn't it? That is just above the goo, yes. So, can I take you back through here? I can see two orange portals at the same time. But I do not know which one links to which, so... If there was blue there now, which one are you? Your... Blue has gone off of there. To orange there. That's disappeared, but the blue is over there. Which is that one, because there's the cube. So this little chamber here, this is a screw up the universe chamber. How the hell would you even go about making something like this? So this is the first room. Okay. So, I need to get the cube over there somehow. No, because this is where I can get the cube. Because, so if blue is, I think that's coming out of the ceiling, right? Out of that panel up above. But I can't tell because everything changes shape. So, blue there and it disappears from there. If I got a new cube here now, thank you. And we ride through here. Is that actually that is actually going to take me over to? This has got to be one of the weirdest chambers I've ever seen. How on earth do you even go about making something like this? So I can stick you on there, and I'm pretty sure that's the exit. Just in case that is the exit, uh, if you would like to submit a test chamber, please follow the link in the description, fill in the form, and submit your chamber. Yeah, if you've got something really weird like this, I'd love to see it. And this chamber is a complete mindfuck. How do you even go about making something like this? I mean, I've never seen anything like this. This is really cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the exit. So, uh, yeah, two rivers and many, many dimensions by RFT50. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, so long and thanks for all the fish.